Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. I'm up at 5,000 uh, subscribers right now. There's nothing technical in this video. I'm just going to brag about my subscribers right now and thank you. Also, I'm, I'm very grateful for all of these subscribers and I thank you very much also for your comments in the on the channel. The comments are so nice and um, yeah, it, it gives me a lot of energy uh, to it gives me a lot of energy when I see all of those uh, nice comments there. It's, um, it's very cool. Thank you very much for those. Um, so, okay, first of all, people always ask me, okay, how much money do we make on the channel for, for some reason? And this is the second question is, do we remember to pay your taxes for, from that? And the an answer to the first one is uh, not that much, 500 uh, kroners per month. And then, yes, I pay my taxes uh, from from this income as, as well. Um. And then you can see right here, there's, uh, there's a 5,000 subscribers. And how many do I get per day? Let us just look at some of the analytics just for fun, because uh, this is what what people are uh, sometimes are interested in. Um, I, I think it's a quite a lot of views. I get like uh, sometimes in, the, in, in if it's in the middle of the weekday, then I'm up at like 2,000 subscribers, uh, 2,000 views per 48 hours. And I, I think that's that's awesome, I think, with all, all of the cool content that are out there. Um, there's uh, so many, so many, so much cool content out there. So many creators out there. So it's um, yeah, it's it's very nice that I, I also get uh, some of that attention. Um, that is um, that that's that's pretty cool, and uh, I'm honored. Uh, I'm honored to see that actually. So which of the videos are uh, are doing best? We can actually see that. Of course, the, the older the videos are, the usually the more they've been. Usually, people the um, when they Google on some kind of problem, then they, then then sometimes my page, uh, so my channel comes up, and then uh, then they go in and watch like just a couple of minutes. They like fa fast forward, and then they they see how to solve this. And the XML and XSLT, uh, Spring Boot, how the basics with Spring Boot. What is a component? What is a service? What are repository? Those are uh, those are very. Um, a popular, pro, pro, I mean, I say popular, you can see it's like uh, yeah, so 21 views. It's not like uh, it's a huge amount, but it's, it's they are quite good spread out. Though, all of it. It's not just like well, one or two videos uh, carrying the, the load right here. They, they, they There's a lot of uh, different videos like protocol, buffer, um, the hour string formats, um, the WSL uh, videos that are made are also uh, quite popular. Um, also, some of the, the throttling and the thin client, and um, yeah, the, those are also quite. Um, those also quite uh, uh, popular. So, but I think the yeah the the videos the the views actually the they are they are split on on a lot on a lot of the videos. So, um, it's uh, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm happy you know that I cannot of course uh, this is I can't quit my daytime job as you say so it's just um, it is just for fun um, it's nothing that I get uh, rich from how many subscribers do I get per day I get like uh, three. Uh, three per day and it's uh, so it's it's um it's a lot of fun i think and uh, all of the yeah all of the comments they're so nice um, so it's um, it's awesome and i really enjoy making these uh, these videos and i also learn a lot by by doing this uh, i learn yeah whenever i have to go and dig into a to to a, to a subject then there's always something that i, I thought that i mastered this subject totally but then i there's always something that i learn about this to topic when i have to explain it to other people so i can definitely recommend that if, if there's some if there's one topic that you want to get good at then try to explain it to other people then you get really really good at it because you have to uh, you have to know the corners and you have to read up on stuff and uh, you have to dig into to, to the to the topic and uh, yeah and then when you explain it to other people then they come with uh, then, then they will come with the difficult uh, questions and of course, uh, then sometimes uh, you will help each other with uh, by getting the answer, and sometimes you, yeah, sometimes you you will you will you will you will find that and then return to to the, to the person that asks. So um, explaining explaining uh, technical stuff uh, to other people, it's 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 awesome. You are, you get you 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 learn uh, just as much as uh, as other person. Um, Okay, what about the future? Then what? I, what will I? Uh, what kind of videos will I make in the future? Uh, in the future, I will make. Um, I'll make at least one about uh, also more. I think about selenium. Um, selenium is, is, is quite cool end to end uh, uh, system where we where we can actually call the front end and then you can expect stuff from the front end. So you can say like. Uh, yeah, click on this button with this certain uh, CSS ID, uh, this HTML ID, uh, CSS ID, then um, and then expect that this this other page comes uh, like five seconds later or something like that. So it's it is uh, it's kind of supplement um, and sometimes also replacement for uh, for user testing actually. So. Uh, 
And, uh, and we all know that those are the expensive tests. That is, if we have a user that actually needs to sit and click around in the page, that is one of the most expensive tests that we, we can make. So, of course, we want to uh, we want to make unit tests. We want to make our spring tests. We want to make our uh, front-end tests. Or if you have a React uh, client, then we want to create our React uh, tests because we have, want to have t tests as close uh, uh, on, on the code as we are, as, as we can. And then, of course, we also want these in. Uh, we, we can also choose to have these uh, Selenium tests on top of that to. Um, yeah, to, to actually in, instead of having some users going through the same uh, so the, the same tedious work uh, again and again, whenever we think that we are done and ready to uh, ready to publish some some uh, some so, yeah one a uh, system. So um, this is definitely something I will dig into. Um, then we have something called Cucumber business driven development. This is a lot of fun when you combine it with uh, Spring Boot, actually, then it's, uh, then it's quite easy to make these uh, steps, and then it's quite easy, actually, to create these uh, uh, Spring Boot Selenium tests, uh, if that's what we want to, but we can also just create a Cucumber test that has this uh, terminology. So when, when you hear the, the when you hear the buzzword business-driven development, do, do not be scared or anything, it's just like, it's, it's just a way to actually format your test where you say, you, you, you give a context first, so you say, as a super user uh, in the context where there are, um, there are three or more unhandled orders, I would like to be able to delete one order by clicking the delete button or something like that. And you can actually see that, okay, that, uh, it's actually right here. Given, when, then. So that is actually uh, how to formulate these tests. And if you make that, if you make it really nice, then you can actually have the business creating these tests right here. So in, in your um, in, in your Scrum, uh, inside, inside your Scrum task, if you use uh, Jiros, then you can actually uh, have the business to actually define this as an acceptance criteria that there is a test where it says uh, scenario, where it says feature first, and then it says scenario, given, when, then, then the business can fill out these things, and then you can code those steps. That's also quite cool. So that's uh, also something I'm going to dig into. Um, and of course, then there's a lot of all, uh, yeah, but, but whatever I, I just uh, feel like or think of or uh, stumble upon um, when I'm coding something else. That is usually what uh, what I make videos about. But I, again, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much for subscribing. It's uh, And thank you very much for uh, for writing, um, yeah, for, for, for giving me all these nice uh, comments. It's um, It's very nice. It's, it's, it's fun to make these videos. Thank you very much. Hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.